Alright guys, this is Dokken with another Minecraft video. You heard it and today this is episode 29 of the Minecraft World Tour. Welcome back guys, welcome, welcome. Guys, I've been busy working here a little bit but mainly I've been busy in the end I want to show you in a bit but first let's have a quick look what I've done around here at the witch farm um, just some basic stuff I worked a bit more on our boat dock here and I like it better now I have these yeah, full lock beams in there that kind of give support I have the glowstone lanterns here and I'm planting some sugarcane just for two reasons. A, it looks pretty cool around here. I think it goes very well with the colors. And also it's an addi additional way to get some paper if I need to. Um, for sugar, of course, I don't have to use the sugar cane. I'm producing a lot of sugar in here and of course in the farm, as you can see. Constantly producing new stuff. So that is no problem. <laughs> more than enough actually it's a never-ending flow of things and yeah I have this here I can get some paper if I want to but yeah books I got from a different place I needed a lot but I'll show you in a second and another thing I added here is this little yeah, boat dock functionality I can just step on here get me a boat dock uh, get me a boat dock get me a boat out right around I have to look around here and when I come back just break it put it back into the dispenser and it is safe in there it's really cool that you can break boats now and it's no longer always falling apart um, one more thing I did is I was luring some cows from back there over the water into the witch hut here <laughs> man it's a lot let's let's turn it off for a sec see bottles got a stick chest now over there in a spider eye chest additional one Let's grab that yeah I got these cows in here now and um, it's very helpful you know when you mess around with the witches you often get hit by a poison uh, potion or something and having the cows nearby you know I can um, get the milk from them that is really good Never bad to drink some milk, right guys? <laughs> Funny thing is, it's really cool how they change the breeding over time. Um, I think I have my wheat not with me. Let me quickly check, hopefully. Yeah, I did put some in here. That is good. Total overload with ender pearls. Need to throw them away. So here, I need to pick up that stuff. Um, yeah, the breeding is... Uh, pretty cool now it actually you know it, it reaches far it has been changed but if you look at it I can breed the cows from this distance and see we have a baby cow in there so three cows and at this setup it seems to be like that every time I breed them the cow pops up on that side I don't know I have to do more breeding around here to see if it's consistent but um, at one time at least in the game it was consistent, um, then it changed, the cows basically spawned always on the same side, then it was random. I don't know if it's persistent now again. Mm, we will see, uh, I will find out by breeding more and more. <coughs> okay, let's see, more redstone, some sticks, just wanna, don't wanna waste that stuff here. Clean it up a bit. So. Uh, by now, I consider this area um, finished. The witch farm project is finished. Um, the last thing I will add to that is the item sorting system. But I'm thinking of combining that um, with the mob farm I'm planning to make around here. As I said, kind of a U-shaped building, not too high. And we will have item streams and hopefully I can kind of bring that to my centralized spot down there. Um, we have below the setup here, you know, where we have the elevator and such. Mm. It's hidden below here when we go down. And then I'm thinking I might um, route 
the drops there too and then maybe make him come up here at the anvil but I'm not quite sure I probably want to separate the two areas and make another pickup somewhere over here but there should be an AFK stream option whoops <laughs> so yeah I have to think about it still a little bit and I might also change that around here it was just temporary basically it just put it in there so I have a little um, area to store my boats I also had that a little bit wider here it was too wide but a matter of fact is I like it when it's that slim and there's no problem you know when you want to pass by you can easily do that you will not get stuck and it's not uncomfortable so that is the first part I've been working on here and yeah having the cows there I think that is cool and Having done this boat dock, this was the small little side project. I basically finished that right away when we were done um, with the last episode. And then um, I turned my attention to the end and been uh, doing a lot of enchantment or enchanting. Um, at the moment I'm trying to work on a library. Um, I want to have as many books as possible to be able to customize my gear. And I already started with that by the way. Um, for example, I made me this sword and it only costs 6 plus 9 levels or so to put these two enchantments on there. Um, you could also put unbreaking on the sword, um, but it might then be harder to repair um, because if you have three enchantments there's definite limits. But yeah, you see I did put the looting three fire aspect one on the sword and was just while I was recruiting some cows, bringing the cows back to the witch hut, killing a ton of cows that were over there and that gave me <coughs> lots of loot and of course that is cool. It's really nice that you can actually customize your tools. I think I also did it yeah, here with my diamond pickaxe and I also think I made uh, a shovel. And there you go, just use an efficiency and breaking on there and thus you can really customize your tools and it's definitely worth it um, yeah just go there and pick what you want it's amazing um, it's a really new experience here in Minecraft I'm totally happy about it so okay here we are center of the nether our nether hub and let's quickly go towards the end and the minecart is not there at the moment because yeah at the moment I had the spawn or yeah, set to the witch farm and when I get out of the end it teleports me all the way back and for the further progress now probably want to set the spawn at the stronghold and yeah talking about stronghold um, I was raiding the um, library there if you can see got some footage of that was trying to get <laughs> lots of books that is the easiest way and it's pretty cool that minecarts now actually go through portals and I should have a bed around here and hopefully it's night. No, of course not. <coughs> I want to wait it out a bit. What do we have here? I want to wait it out a little bit until it's night so I can reset my spawn here. Alright, we got the spawn reset. That is okay. Should be daytime now again. Hula! What? Whoa! How the heck that is new? <laughs> How did they just get in here? Wow. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> See, yeah, glass is done. All right, so what I did. Um, I think, what do we want to look at first? Let's look at the building first and then let's do some testing and I'll show you what I've got over at the end. So I dug this tunnel out here and ended up with this <laughs> so far. This uh, 25 diameter circle here and right in the middle of it there is the portal that gets us out of the end. At the moment I'm working on the framework there as you can see. Um, kind of want to enclose it in and the plan is for the areas up there um, we want to use glass it's really stressful around here with all the endermen but when you set them on fire they normally freak out and 
are occupied with not burning to death. So yeah, this is the basic shape and I have some chests over there. I'm trying out designs and as this world will be up for world download today, as promised, as update 1.4.6 is out. By the way, texture back is also updated. You can download that as usual from the channel description on the right side there where I've got the links, you will always find it there. And make sure to use latest MC Patcher. And yeah, I have the idea of making this gigantic library in here. Um, there's tricks, you could use bookshelves and push uh, storage minecarts in there. And you know, then kind of approach the bookshelf <coughs> and be able to grab books directly out of that. Um, I like the idea, but I'm not 100% a, a fan of it. I hope, I really hope, and I might have to suggest it to Dinner Bone, but I might leave him alone over the Christmas time. He deserves a little break. But maybe starting the new, new year when we can introduce new features for 1.5, I want to suggest he might introduce bookshelves, empty bookshelves. You know, you put them there, and with the enchanted books you make, you can then put them in there, literally, and take them out. That would be amazing. Um, basically, a storage device that looks like a bookshelf and is solidly for books. That would be pretty, pretty epic. Um, I would love that idea, so you can make really nice libraries. At the moment, um, i probably end up with chests for now. Um, I will um, label that all, but I haven't really thought much about um, a system... Um, yeah, about a, a storage system or a system of order. Um, but I think this will look really cool here. Um, one question you might ask yourself, of course, how do we get out of here then? If you come through here and then, you know, you do your enchanting and then you would store your books here. How do we get out of here? And I will have anvils in here so you can actually put your enchantments together. Well, you just stand below the portal, toss up an ender pearl, and there we go takes you directly back to the bed you last slept in and at the moment as I reset the spawn there took us right back to the start where we just came in and that is pretty cool I like that a lot that you can kind of yeah teleport into the portal and when you're here in the end of course there will never be a shortage of ender pearls and thus um, this will not be a problem um, I'm thinking this cylinder would look pretty impressive when I'm done with it. Um, I want to have these massive struts in there. I want to continue it. And basically what I started here, but I ran um, out of smooth stone to produce me a bit more. And then we would have this cylinder shaped roof and all with glass. And I'm pretty sure it will look cool cooking up glass. And I will keep on working on that today a little bit. I kind of want to finish the basic shape. And then um, what would be really cool is, you know, you guys then can take the world download. And <coughs> we have the basic shape. <coughs> Excuse me. A little bit of a thought road today. I'm sorry. And you could take it and, you know, make designs over the Christmas time. You know, we will have some time. You guys should have some free time, some time off from school. And then we could um, potentially look for some cool design ideas. That would be really nice. So if you download the world and go to the end and work with it, um, put a storage design in there and just yeah, go, go with the flow, um, go whatever you feel like. The idea is we need to be able to store our books, label them, kind of sort them and be able to grab them when we need them. And that is the idea. And of course the exit on top has to be reachable. And then just put it down as a video response. Would be much appreciated. Um, give it a good name, like end library design for DocM, so I can easily locate it in the video responses. And then I will approve them, and hopefully together we find a really great design. So I showed you I was raiding the library partially. There's still many books uh, left back there, so we should be cool. And I've been enchanting a lot. You can see some more books here, but by now this chest back here should be almost completely filled up. I picked out some books for the tools I was showing you before. And this is also full, so double chest, double chest and a bit more. And after a long, long time, and I saw many of your comments, you guys 
got way more lucky than I did. Um, I finally got the silk touch and I got the things stored back here in my end chest. Um, I got silk touch one, I got efficiency four, I got unbreaking three and I got fortune three, just uh, three um, a few example books and I already got a diamond sword prepared here so let's quickly put the minecart in there because I'll finally want to put the silk touch um, on this diamond sword here and probably want to put unbreaking three on there as well with it let's put some more in the brawls in that can't hurt and that should be fine I don't want to put more enchantments on there as the more enchantments you put on there the higher the repair costs are and I still think it can max out, but you never know. Maybe it changed by now. I mean, if he, we should be able to repair that. I repaired that and renamed it and whatnot. Let's see if we could do it. See, too expensive. So there is a cap. So we want to be careful and not put too many enchantments on our um, single sword. Did I just grab it or did I leave it back in the chest. Wait, did I grab the wrong one? <laughs> Let me check. I had a... Oh yeah, I did grab the wrong one actually. Okay, let's get this one here then. Alright. So, um, the idea is with a sword like that you should be able to acquire um, cobwebs, which is pretty cool. You can use them for fireworks as a cool effect or also for timers and so on. So always wanted to get these blocks. Okay. It's not working. Oh ho! That is interesting. Unbreaking is doable. I heard that silk touch should still be possible on diamond swords or on, on swords in general but doesn't look like it. Wow that's interesting. I was pretty sure that worked. Maybe they took it out now in the final final release. That is interesting. Now do we have some iron here so we can make some shears? That should definitely work. I have to double check. Did I just brain fart there and did something wrong? But I'm pretty sure I didn't. Let's see, did I have some iron around? I doubt it. I doubt it. We might have to go back real quick. Let's double check just to make sure if I'm not like going crazy right now. We have a diamond sword. Clean, nothing on it. We take a silk touch. It's not taking it. We take unbreaking. It's taking it. So obviously it was taken out. We cannot put silk touch on swords. That was, I think it was still in the game in the pre-release, but I'm, I'm not 100% sure. So, okay guys, I'll be rushing back, I'll be getting me some iron, maybe I have to go back a little bit further to the main base, grab me some, and then we'll try again. On the shears it should 100, work 100%, but that's good to know. I thought I might get away with using a sword, diamond sword, you know, put unbreaking on there, very high durability should be a nice tool to harvest cobweb but as it looks we have to go with the shears but well if you put unbreaking on there and we can repair them over and over again we should be cool but still yeah, again we learned something new here see you in a sec guys see you in a sec interesting all right back at the witch hut I should have some iron here, yeah, and we also got an anvil so we can do the enchanting over here. Not a problem. I've been gathering a lot of end stone by now and I want to use the end stone as building material for my build on the mainland. Um, building some stuff there, I'm thinking of a, yeah, first of all a nice sleeping quarter. Um, wait, we have to craft the shears first. Oh no, we did it. Let's do it. Um, Silk touch. Uh, there we go. It works. Mm. <laughs> yep. So it's definitely restricted. It's changed. Alright, good to know. Well, I don't care. Silk touch shears are still cool. Alright, let's do that. Got them. That took a long time to get that enchantment. But at least 
we have it now. Now I want to put Unbreaking 3 on there. Sweet. That's some, some fine shares. Oh, renaming is expensive, eh? Yeah. Very expensive. We might do that later on, give it a nice name. Ha! Sweet. The shears of cobwebness. <laughs> okay, let me see. I should have some... Let's get in there. Some abandoned mine shafts close by. I'm... Wait a minute. I'm pretty sure right there we were pretty close to one of the spider spawners. If we go down this hedge there. I think we should be able to find some cobweb down there try it out. Mm, it's interesting. Did you know that guys with the with the sword? That's strange. I haven't heard about that. I was one hundred percent sure it would be working. Alright. I think we had a mob spawner down here. Yeah. Zombie ah yeah. There we go. There's the first cobweb. So let's try it out. Yeah. There we go. Cobweb. Took some damage, our shears. <laughs> Looks cool in the 3D effect. Let's get a bit more. Yeah, that's a bit dangerous here. I don't want to risk it. There's more. Ah, sweet. Ha! <laughs> man, man, man. I've been playing this game for a long, long time and Cobweb was one of the holy blocks <laughs> um, could never get basically so that's always cool yep. if we see some some changes there maybe you can do some cool stuff with mobs with it for timers it's definitely good I cleared a lot of the area here already with water and knocking it out wow yep. not much cobweb left eh? <laughs> Well, we got a few. Ah, there's more. Just want to see how the durability of the shears is. Kind of gathered a few now. Let's see. Yeah, it took minor damage, but yeah, we should be able to repair it all the time. It's pretty cool. Oh, some wheat. Nice. What's in there? Good. I need it for the breeding. <laughs> All the pumpkin seeds I found down here, I think I dumped it in this chest. I might take some up with me. Now we got them. All right. So um, I want to try out something with the fireworks um, and the um, cobwebs. <laughs> Should look really funny. Um, be right back. Need to do some preparation. Hmm? When did that just happen? Look at the shears. Untouched. No damage on it. I just climbed up the ladder and when I was up here, sure has no damage. I have to check that. I have to rewatch the footage now because we basically continuously captured here. So I should be able to catch it. Maybe it's a bug. Maybe it will get reset. What was that? You see that? It's undamaged now. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe it's a graphical glitch? See if it changes. Oh. That's weird. Let's put the cobweb there and shear it. Didn't take damage. Must be a graphical glitch then. Still undamaged. It can be because of the unbreaking effect, but. Aha, uh -huh. now we took damage. Right. That was weird. Let's keep an eye on that. Maybe it changes again the self, <laughs> the indestructible shears that fixes itself. <laughs> That's cool. So I was just checking the footage and I saw when it happened I right clicked on a chest to open it up and that repaired the shears. Oh. 
I was able to replicate it. So the question now is, uh, how do we switch on the durability thing? I think it could be switched on. Um, control H, was it that? I'm not sure. Huh. Let's right click on this chest with this pickaxe. Uh, that didn't do anything. Weird. But yeah, we were able to replicate it. By clicking, by right clicking on the double chest, the shears appear to be repaired. Let's go to another dimension. I have to go to the end anyways. Do I have some more cobble around or something I could use down there? Oh yeah. Good. Let's grab that all. Let's store away some of the stuff. Let's go to another dimension and then we will see if it changes again. Interesting. Can put the seeds in here. All right. Let's grab some more. Can need that all. Okay. Let's get going. Let's do the jump. See if it gets updated or if it's actually fixed. That would be a bug that needs to be fixed then. Okay, it still looks all right. Hmm. Well, that's weird. Let's get back to building, guys. <laughs> it's gruesome. How cruel. Just when we chant down, it finished. Uh, unintentionally ender pearled into him. He didn't like that. Sorry. It's good endermen don't pick up stuff. <laughs> oh, that was funny. The shears are still untouched. I think it's a bug. You can see where are they. Yeah. So pretty weird. All right. I got the framework done. What? Okay, I I used that. I wanted to use that to repair this one. Yeah, <laughs> getting confused with all the gear I'm hauling at the moment. I have to clean up my inventory. Um, all right, so let's get rid of him. Take revenge for him killing us. So this is what we got. We got the framework in. In these gaps, I want to put some glowstone lanterns. I think that should look fine. Or, what I'm also thinking, maybe put some water in there and let it stream down. Th those are some ideas I had. But as I said, it um, would be cool if you um, could put down some design ideas. The first thing I want to do now is, or the next thing, fill in the glass. And I might have to dig away. I already did that a little bit, but I have to do it more. Dig away uh, some of the endstone around the area here so we don't really see it because it might be a bit weird when we hear there's a little bit of a rock. I might dig down that uh, as well. And we should be cool. In the end also I want to quickly show you the fireworks thing I want to try out with the cobweb. Should be should look funny. Alright, yeah here for example <laughs> some of the end stone I got or basically all of the end stone I got from here so far. So quite some stacks from digging that out should help me a lot when I later on want to build at the main island. I'm really liking the look of the end stone. Just looks great. Okay, this glass I have so far. Three stacks. Should have some sand. Cook some more. Also brought coal along. In block form, let me see where was it. And there we go. Need some more coal. It's really cool to store coal in in block form and then yeah, just break it open if you need some. It doesn't take that much space. I just have my fortune pickaxe here. Well, yeah, you really have to haul a lot of um, of gear again now. So far we are not really fortunate. <laughs> okay, now we're going. Yeah, to to do all the jobs you have to carry around the pickaxe again and a shovel and yeah. Well, lots of stuff if you really want to work efficient. Okay, so we're cooking up the glass here. I'm not sure if these three stacks shall last. 
But I was thinking of full glass blocks here, not wanting to use glass panes. And basically just filling that in, representing the walls of the cylinder, but here gonna make it out of glass and of course also the roof. Should look pretty cool, I think. We're done with it. Yep. Okay, I fill in the glass and then we have another look how it turned out. Okay, I'm almost done, but I'm running out of sand, so I have to do a supply run. You can use that time to do the test with the rocket. And I also wanted to try something out if I played the yeah, portal here from below, if I still will be able to teleport into it because that would um, definitely help, you know, with the optics here or with the looks. Maybe we can even put glowstone there, have turn it into a lantern and we can teleport into it. Let's try. Alright, so that's not a possibility. Let's recover some health real quick. If we teleport twice, it might work out. What happens at these gaps there? Okay, let's see. Let's try it out. Ah! Still worked. That is alright. Cool. <laughs> Minecraft. Alright, that still worked. Okay, I will go back uh, to the main base and grab me some sand so I can make a bit more glass and then we should be able to finish it but also want to prepare the rocket so we can test that out alright let's get some rockets going I want to go for the white igniter <laughs> see how that turns out Oh, okay small ball white with twinkle should be all right. Let's make a stack. <laughs> okay, now let's turn them into rockets. We can go for um, level one, so we don't waste too much. All right, that's 64. Sweet. Okay, now I need to grab some sand. We can launch them in the end. The endermen have never seen something like that. They'll like it. <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay, I think we got it. Yep, that's it. Let's put in the last pieces of glass on the roof. Oh, by the way, I have some trees growing here. You always need some trees around. Looks good. Kind of inspired me. I really feel we should work with um, a lot of reed and water and brightness in here as well. Like if you look at the green, it just looks awesome here in the nether. Uh, nether, I say, in the end. And I really think we should um, integrate that into the designs of nature in this barren lands. Where's the hole here? And that's that. Cool. The whole dome is completed. I still have to dig away some of the stuff outside here. But, well, I'll chip some blocks off ever so often. And after a while, we, we have it trimmed back the way we want it. Trying to kind of make it look natural, not really, you know, flatten it out. So it kind of flows a bit here. Also, we got tons of these towers. Maybe we can make use of that as well. Integrate them somehow. Maybe have a cool beacon tower or something up there. For a rotating light. That would be neat. And then a spiral staircase going... Are these towers hollow? Yes, they are, right? Oh, they're massive. Oh, okay, never, never really looked into them. Never tore them down. Not really, hmm. So they hey, give me that. So they're massive. All right, so maybe, wow, digging that all out, it would be a pretty crazy job. But maybe we could have a spiral staircase inside and then have a cool lookout point. Hmm. Kind of, it's tempting, it's tempting. Okay, let's knock that out. So we see the full glory of the dome in the end. The end dome, end dome. <laughs> Maybe it's a new word. It's not really a dome, it's a cylinder. 
We need to have a good name for that build here. It's going to be a library, so the end library, something like that. Yep. I like it. Really cool. Yep, we're getting somewhere. Really looking forward uh, for your design suggestions. Okay, so let's try out the rockets. Um, the rockets should get stuck in the web and then you should be able to create these nice ground Bengal fire thingy bingies. But first let's launch a normal one. Alright, yeah, that's the effect we are looking for, so we see how it looks. Okay. That's the magic shears. I'm gonna try out again if I can fix them if I click on the chest. Alright. So let's try it out. So if I had if you had a dispenser below you could shoot a few out. Yeah, that should look alright. Yeah, that's the, the effect. You basically would have a block below dispenser where the rocket shoots out and then yeah that looks pretty cool you have to if you get it right in the middle it should be some kind of a dome around dome yeah you have to try that out a bit But it's pretty cool, yeah, you can use that as an effect, I like it. So, let's end this episode with some <laughs> strobe lights. Be careful, guys. <laughs> Download in the video description. Have fun, really looking forward for your design ideas. See you soon, there will be an episode out hopefully before Christmas or around Christmas. And I have to do the vlog still. For the gaming room, kind of want to combine it with the dog. The plan is to record um, this weekend. Today is Friday, so yeah, you know, I wait, have to wait for my girlfriend so she has some time. And she promised me she'd take some time, so she will help me out with that. So I can show you where I'm sitting here and doing the thing. And yeah, hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, we are getting more and more into building now. As some basic preparations are done, we got our first mob farms done, we have a good way to get XP um, and slowly but surely I will start to make things like that again, go bigger a bit and yeah, slowly but surely I'm feeling home in this world, you know, it took me a while but yep, yeah, I'm really getting attached to it, I hope you kind of feel the same, it, it was a huge break from the old world tour to this here. Um, but we're getting there, you know, um, and slowly but surely, I think um, I would really love to learn the world. Um, right now, I really like it. And at some point, there's that uh, yeah, special moment when you really think, yeah, now I'm feeling really at home and we're getting closer. So hope to see you next time, guys. Bye bye. I'm out. Au revoir. Um, Obrigado. No, that was wrong. <laughs> See you next time. Bye. Oh. Wow. <laughs> that looks freaking.